My task today may be simple, but one that I take with great humility and respect. That is to introduce our guest of honor. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the guest of honor is an astute leader who took the bold decision to enrich our national heritage by, among other noble initiatives, honoring our national icons of the first and second Chimurenga Liberation Wars, who sacrificed their lives for Zimbabwe's freedom. The statue of Mbuyane and Nyagasikana, which, is the, which the guest of honor will unveil today, is the historic and inspirational for the future generations who should be truly proud and patriotic Zimbabweans. Ladies and gentlemen, the inspiration and decision to honor Zimbabwe's traditional and revolutionary icons to be part and parcel of the country's national heritage and monuments is a noble undertaking. It is an, it is an embodiment of the continuation of sustaining and consolidating the country's hard-won freedoms. Statue and monuments of our iconic and legendary national heroine, Mbuya Neanda Nyagasana. This befitting immortalization was long overdue. It is most opportune that this event is appropriately blended with the commemorations of Africa Day and occurring during the Culture Week on our continent. It is on this important day that we honor our founding fathers and the many sons and daughters of Africa who pioneered the liberation, emancipation, development, and prosperity of our mother continent, Africa. It is indeed a time to also galvanize collective action towards the achievement of the vision and aspirations outlined in the African Union Constitutive Act and Agenda 2063. On behalf of the government and people of Zimbabwe, and indeed on my own behalf, I congratulate fellow member states of the African Union and the people of Africa for the remarkable achievements made over the last 58 years since the founding of our august continental body. The pledges made by Africa's founding fathers in 1963 must persistently inspire us towards a shared prosperity and well-being, for unity and integration, for a continent of free citizens and expanded horizons, where the potential of all our people, in particular our women, our youth and disabled, are realized. It is also important that we work harder for peace and a continent free from all forms of neo-colonialism. Let no one ever divide us or patronize us in a manner or fashion against our vision. We are a proud African people, a continent that has awakened and rising towards a brighter and prosperous future. Allow me to take this opportunity of this occasion to commend the African Union through the Africa Center for Disease Control 
for defense programs and interventions to strengthen public health capacities with regards to the conscious response to the COVID-19 pandemic and other disease threats. Thank <laughs> you.